Hello dear viewer, I'm Ty, and I'm so happy you dropped by. Now today we're going to be talking about furry conventions do's and don'ts. Even though this is meant for fur cons, these can also be implemented at any of the other conventions you may happen to go to. Do plan on spending money. Most conventions out there have an artist alley or a dealer's den, aka a place to buy merch from artists. Now whether that's art prints, stickers, or maybe even something custom made, chances are you will find something that speaks to you. But don't spend all the money you have. And by that I mean take it slow and make sure to spend your money on what you need first, whether that's food, drinks, or maybe even transportation, depending on how you got to the con. After you've managed all of that and whatever you have left, go hog wild. Do go to panels. Almost every con I have went to has always had panels that intrigued me, whether that was improv, maybe a game show, and maybe even meeting a guest of honor. There are always a ton of things to do at a furry convention besides just going to raves. But don't stress yourself out and try to make everything, because you won't know how you will feel during that part of the day. Panels are a huge plus, but not when it means you're hurting yourself to go to them. Dude, when was the last time you ate anything? Food is for the weak. Must attend furry dance battle. Uh. Which leads me to the final and most important rule. And if you take anything from this video, make sure it's this. Do the 6-2-1 rule. Do make sure you get at least 6 hours of sleep. Do make sure you eat 2 full meals a day. To be honest, I still have trouble with this one. I always get like maybe one meal and eat a bunch of snacks, but that's not that's not good for you. You need to eat two proper meals a day. And lastly, the most important furry rule out there that a lot of furries still do not do. Please take one shower per day, especially if you're wearing a suit. Now don't get me wrong, I understand furries sweat, especially in the fursuits, I understand they sweat. But Jesus, my boy, learn how to put on some deodorant at least. <sighs> hey, but that's my do's and don'ts for a Furcon. What else did I miss? Let me know in the comment section down below. And subscribe if you follow any of these rules, or else I will know you're a bunch of stinky fuzzies. <laughs> well, anyway, until the next video, ta-ta for now.